Good evening students and welcome to today's daily quiz presented to you by Baiju's Exam Prep IES. The first question is which of the following PLI production link incentive scheme is being implemented by the government in the medical sector? PLI scheme for bulk drugs, PLI scheme for pharmaceuticals, PLI schemes for medical devices. So, in order to reduce India's dependency on import for pharmaceutical products, for medical devices, for the APIs which are used to produce various drugs, India has started these product linked incentive schemes to increase our domestic production. Now, these schemes, they are under the helm of the Department of Pharmaceuticals. Now, under the PLI scheme for pharmaceuticals, there are three categories that are supported. Category 1 includes biopharmaceuticals, complex generic drugs, patented drugs or drugs nearing patent expiry, cell-based or gene therapy drugs, orphan drugs, special empty capsules and complex excipients. The category 2 includes the bulk drugs except those drugs which are already included in the PLI scheme for bulk drugs. The category 3 includes the drugs which are not included in category 1 and 2. So now we know we have at least two PLI schemes, one related to pharmaceuticals and the second one related to bulk drugs. Other than that, the department of pharmaceuticals, it also undertakes a third PLI scheme for the medical devices. So all this will support our Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhyan. So over here, all these three, they are being implemented by the government in the medical sector and our correct answer is D. Now the next question, what do you understand by HD3385 which has been in the news recently? It is a heat resistant variety of wheat developed by the ICAR. Indian Council for Agricultural Research. It is an ultra high definition screen developed by NASA for its space missions. It is a new strain of the monkeypox virus. It is a therapeutic protein obtained from transgenic goats. Now why this is a news is because ICAR has developed this new variety of wheat which will grow early in order to prevent the losses related to extensive heating of the earth during the summer months. So this variety, it will be early sowing variety and it will be harvested by March end. Now this variety, please note, it has already been registered by the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Authority and in collaboration with a private sector company that is DCM Sriram Limited, the ICAR will increase the production of these wheat seeds so that they can be highly dispersed amongst the farmer community. So this will not only prevent the losses to the farmers due to increasing temperatures due to climate change, it will also help in addressing the issues related to food security. So over here the correct answer is A. Now the third question, how many of the following statements are true? The new START treaty entered into force in the year 2011. It aims to limit the nuclear warheads with the signatory nations. Both USA and Russian Federation are a part of this treaty. Now the START treaty which is also known as measures for the further reduction and limitation of strategic offensive arms. It was signed between USA and Russian Federation in order to reduce their nuclear warheads. This treaty wants to limit the nuclear warheads with both the countries in order to prevent nuclear proliferation. However, yesterday, that is on 21st February, in an address to the nation, the Russian president Vladimir Putin announced that Russia is walking out of this particular treaty. Now, this treaty, it was signed in the year 2011 and it was to be in place till the year 2026 after which a new treaty would be negotiated upon. It focused both on the ICBMs that is intercontinental ballistic missiles and the SLBMs that is the submarine launched ballistic missiles which can both carry nuclear warheads. So can you tell in the comments 
whether or not India has an ICBM and if yes, what is the name of it? Now over here, this is a correct statement. Yes, this treaty, it entered into force in 2011 and it was to go up to 2026. This is also correct. Its main aim is to limit the nuclear warheads with the signatory nations. However, this is wrong because as of yesterday, the Russian Federation is not a part of this treaty. So the correct answer is B. Now the next question. It is the month of February. The sun is gleaming on the wetlands dotted with sea of pink flamingos. How many of the below locations can be described by the above statement? Thane Creek, Chilika Lake, Pulikat Lake and Thol Lake. Now greater flamingos are a variety of migratory birds which are well known for their pink color. Now these flamingos they come to the Indian subcontinent between the months of November to May. That is in the winter months these flamingos they migrate to India to get better breeding sites for themselves. So they undertake nesting activities in India. Now many of the wetland areas of India they are a home for these flamingos. Especially the state of Gujarat is a very important breeding site and that is why there is a place known as Flamingo City that is located in the state of Gujarat. Now out of these locations, the flamingos, they are found in all these four locations. So the correct answer here is D. Now we come to a PYQ. Consider the following statements. It was during the reign of Iltutmish that Cengiz Khan reached the Indus in pursuit of the fugitive Khwarezm prince. It was during the reign of Muhammad bin Tughlaq that Taimur occupied Multan and crossed the Indus. It was during the reign of Dev Rai of Vijayanagar Empire that Vasco da Gama reached the coast of Kerala. Which of these statements is our correct? Now this statement is correct. And it was one of the biggest diplomatic victories for Iltutmish because this prince, he wanted a shelter in India, but fearing Genghis Khan, Iltutmish did not allow it. This, however, is wrong. Why? Because Muhammad bin Tughlaq was the Sultan of Delhi from 1325 till 1351 and Temur invaded India and ravaged Multan and Punjab crossing the Indus River in the year 1398. This is also an incorrect statement. Why? Because Dev Rai of the Vijayanagar Empire, he ruled between 1422 to 1446. Whereas Vasco da Gama, all of us know he came to India in 1498. So the correct answer is A. Now we come to the fact of the day, which is TKDL, Traditional Knowledge Digital Library. On 21st February, the Eurasian Patent Organization EAPO, which is an intergovernmental organization of the Eurasian Patent Convention and the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. They came into a cooperation regarding the TKDL access to EAPO through a non-disclosure agreement. Now, through this agreement, the EAPO will gain access to the contents of TKDL database for the purpose of search and examination of prior art related to Indian traditional knowledge in patent application for the purpose of approving any IPR related grants. Now, what is TKDL? It is a database which is first of its kind in the entire world. It was established back in the year 2001 under the collaboration between the CSIR and the current Ministry of Ayush. Now, the biggest reason for formation of this library is to prevent the grant of Erinus patents based on India's traditional 
नॉलेज यू नो दैट हल्दी दैट इज टर्मरिक इट वॉज बींग पेटेंटेड इन यू एस ए मेनी ऑफ आर अदर योगिक पोस्टर्स दे आर बींग पेटेंटेड इन अदर कंट्रीज सो टू प्रिवेंट सच पेटेंट्स टू प्रिवेंट सच बायो पायरेसी दैट इज यूज ऑफ इंडियन नॉलेज टू गेन पेटेंट्स इन सम अदर कंट्री एंड गेट रॉयल्टीज आउट ऑफ दैट टू प्रिवेंट सच एक्टिविटीज इंडिया केम अप विद द आइडिया ऑफ टी के डी एल विच कंटेन्स इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन ओवर फोर पॉइंट फोर लैख फॉर्मुलेशन एंड टेक्निक्स ऑफ इंडियन सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन बीट आयुर्वेद यूनानी सिद्धा सोवा रिकपा एंड yoga now this information in this library is from diverse languages and subject areas provided in five international languages that include english german french japanese and spanish now the access to this database is only available to patent offices when these offices they sign the access agreements with india now this whole entire exercise it has been very impactful towards protection of indian traditional knowledge from any kind of bio piracy or misappropriation over 283 patent applications all across the world they have been either revoked amended withdrawn or abandoned based on the evidences produced from this database so that is all about today's daily quiz i hope you were able to understand all the concepts so do not forget to like the video share it and subscribe to our channel for more such content thank you very much and have a very good day ahead